they also claimed that they took 100% of lot sales and put them back into the development of the property. And that would allow them to finish the property quickly in two to five years. These claims were crucial to people's decision to buy what they thought would be retirement homes in a beautiful, remote property in southern Belize. Unfortunately, these claims were all false. The FTC Act doc asked Dr. Richard Prizer, one of the country's leading authorities on large-scale development, to analyze the viability of the Sanctuary Belize project. According to Dr. Prizer, building facilities like the promised hospital in a remote area of Belize is not economically sustainable. He also explains that contrary to defendants' claims, a no-debt model where you're simply putting, um, it, putting investment back into the development without borrowing money actually significantly increases the risk of the project due to the lack of liquidity and oversight. Because no-debt financing severely restricts the cash flow available for any project, the defendants' claims that they put all the money that they got back into the project was particularly important. However, like their other claims, this claim, too, was a lie. My wife and I purchased a lot in Sanctuary Belize in 2012. Uh, we went down on one of their tours and uh, saw their marketing materials and videos similar to what you saw. And there's a whole lot more that you haven't seen yet. Um, we were very impressed by the marketing, and they did a first-class job on all the materials they provided and their, uh, their sales pitch to purchase property there. But one of the points I want to make is that there's, there's many hundreds of other people that uh, bought property down there besides me, and that, that are, you know, some of them just couldn't withstand the loss that they that they have incurred. Um, it's a lot of people that I've heard stories that have, have invested their full retirement funds in there and um, planned on uh, retiring down there and they just have nothing left. And as Jim said, going back 15 years, there's there's people that have literally died waiting for this to get completed. So what of these so-called investments? Well, 15 years after first promising to complete the development in two to five years, fewer than 10% of the lots have completed homes. The promised amenities are still incomplete and in the vast majority of cases not even started. Most importantly, these amenities will never be completed because even making generous assumptions in the defendant's favor they are still nearly half a billion dollars short of the funds necessary to complete Sanctuary Belize.